My name is Matthew Eason. I'm a personal injury and wrongful death attorney here in Sacramento. And I've been practicing in that area of law for over 25 years. And in this video, I'm going to address the question of how do you choose the right wrongful death attorney for a case? In selecting an attorney, word of mouth is obviously a great resource. But the problem with word of mouth is a lot of times people are referring you to their friend or their acquaintance. And they really may not have that actual expertise in wrongful death. In the more modern era, there are lots of websites out there, such as Super Lawyers, Lawyers.com, Martindale Hubble, that purport to refer you to lawyers specialized in your area. Some of the problem with that choice selection, though, is those are lawyers that have subscribed to be on those websites. Some of them are very capable, some of them not. There's not a good vetting of those lawyers for those websites. Google reviews and Yelp reviews can also be helpful. And then at least it gives you an idea of what that lawyer's interaction with their clients are like. And some lawyers are very good at interacting with clients, but they may not be that good in dealing with the insurance companies. And so there's a limitation in relying too heavily on reviews. Another great way to help find a lawyer is to look for a lawyer with a web page that's specific to your issues and questions. If their web page is general and their practice area includes everything from construction defect to family law, then that's probably not a good wrongful death personal injury attorney. If their web page focuses on injury and injury victims, then that's more likely going to be a good resource for you. There are some pros and cons to all of those, and the reality is you should do a combination of all of them. You should take a look at who is on the big referral sites, who's on Yelp, who's on Google with good reviews, maybe who do you know, take a look at their website and see is that the right fit for me preliminarily. Besides researching the background of the lawyer and the law firm, there's a few other factors you should take into account, such as the size of the law firm and the geographic location of the law firm. Some of the best lawyers that I've worked with are from small counties or have a solo practitioner or maybe just one partner. And they can be absolutely fantastic lawyers, but they're typically fantastic general purpose lawyers. When you're in a small county, you find yourself practicing what's sometimes known as door law. It's whatever comes inside your door. One of the challenges of choosing a lawyer from a rural community is that that lawyer typically has to handle lots of different matters of a different variety. So they may have clients in the morning for a criminal law matter, clients during the lunch hour for a family law matter, and clients in the afternoon for a negligence matter. They're going to be very good at handling all those different matters, but they really don't become experts or very particularly skilled in one particular area like you can get in a larger city. So choosing a lawyer from a larger city usually makes sense for larger cases. When choosing an attorney from a larger city as well, it's sometimes better to choose a lawyer that's not in a small firm, so it's only one or two attorneys. The problem with a small firm is that as litigation heats up, it can completely consume that law firm's resources. All of their staff becomes dedicated to working on that particular file, and if that file's not yours, you're getting pushed down the road unnecessarily. The flip side of hiring a large firm with dozens of lawyers is you can find yourself just a single person in a large mill and one associate comes and goes the next day and someone new is having to get up to speed on your file. Most people find the most satisfaction when they're hiring a mid-sized firm. A mid-sized firm of between five and 15 attorneys typically has the resources to handle no matter what the workload is with respect to a trial, also have the resources financially to back the expert witnesses but yet they are also small enough to give you the attention and detail that you need. The last comment I have about choosing an attorney is geographics. Ideally, you want to choose an attorney whose office you can personally walk into, and that can be a bit slippery in today's internet. There are lots of attorneys from Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, that are setting up satellite offices here in Sacramento or other counties and claiming to be from here, but the reality is they never actually show up. They're working out of a post office box, or they have a staff person. You want to hire an attorney that when you're ready to work on your case, you can physically walk into their office, sit down across from the attorney or the staff person, and work together towards a result. You don't want to have to be phoning it into Los Angeles. The other challenge with hiring a lawyer from Los Angeles or San Diego or somewhere else is that the insurance company is betting that that lawyer doesn't really want to come to Sacramento and go to trial. If you hire a Sacramento lawyer, such as our office, we're six blocks from the courthouse. That insurance company knows that we're willing to go to trial because it's just a walk down the street compared to a flight and hotel rooms for somebody else. You don't want an insurance company calling it an attorney's bluff because they're not in the community. In choosing an attorney, there are obviously lots of different things you should take into account. Not just 
the geographics, the size of the firm, or the internet reputation or their website. It's kind of a culmination of all of those things. I hope you'll spend a little bit of effort looking at our firm on the internet, look about us, and consider hiring us. If you would like to talk to me personally, please give me a call. My name again is Matt Eason. My number is 916-438-1819. I'm with a law firm at Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.